Well, apparently I bought the wrong harness because the MR2 plug harness has to reach to the driver's side back seat and it's supposed to go this way. And then this is the budget harness that you can get off of eBay too as well. Uh, this end needs to be on yeah, this side of the motor right here. I mean, with this budget harness is pretty well made too as well. So you can see it's tucked inside the valve cover. Um, So this was just delivered today and this is the uh, Ryan wire budget build uh, wire tuck harness and I'm going to be installing it on my K24A and then see what kind of sensors I need. I'm pretty sure I might have to change out the uh, the coils and then I haven't in, uh, ordered the injectors yet but other than that I got the, uh, the map sensor. So yeah, let's get to it. Don't get me wrong, I mean the ride wires is really good, but this wire is a front wheel drive car or replacing your RXX um, engine harness. I mean, the issue is, I mean, that is, has to go this way into your, uh, right into your cabin. I mean, that would literally burn this wire up. Just like that, you know. Um, good thing that for my MR2, it's just going to be, it's long enough to actually reach to my driver's side uh, back seat. So this is a, a plus for me. All I'm worried about right now, uh, after this, I'm going to be... Uh, Thinking about how to wire up my charge harness. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to change out the starter because I don't think the starter wire for this K24 is gonna work with the Ryan wire. But that's gonna be a, that's gonna be a whole different um, scenario. Um, my goal right now is probably gonna go to Harbor Freight and go grab a TIG welder and get the uh, valve cover bung welded. Well, it kind of sucks that you keep on asking for a welding machine or borrowing it from somebody, so... I'm gonna get my own welding machine. There we go. There we go. This one caught my eyes though, because this one has everything on it. That's the thing, is that when you uh, spend about like $1,300 uh, with the um, warranty on it too as well, uh, you expect to have it with the whole kit, but it doesn't. Uh, should have probably watched more videos on YouTube and see what's the uh, unbox, but I didn't. Um, I was just 
pretty excited trying to get this uh, valve cover welded. But it is what it is. And another fail. This is a DC weld, not an AC, so yep. <laughs> so I'm gonna disassemble the motor and have the bung welded. Uh, the reason why I bought this too as well, because I gotta weld the broken uh, chassis bracket from the uh, MR2. I guess they're prone to do it. It's And that's the main thing too, because uh, when I bought the uh, MR2 from the kid, he said that, you know, everything is all great until you hear clonking and I thought this is one of the uh, maybe a sway bar bushings and you know it is what it is till next time you guys I'll keep you guys updated